I like the confession he made of Jesus because Jesus said, if you can believe. The man said, Lord, I do believe, but help my unbelief. You know what the man was saying? He was being pure with Jesus. He was being raw and honest. And we need to be the same way. He said, Lord, I do believe, but he admitted, I'm struggling in my faith. Have you ever been there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm struggling in my faith. <laughs> His raw honesty with Jesus. Jesus saw faith in that man and in his statement because he said, I do believe, but I'm struggling. He was being honest. And guess what? He got his miracle. <laughs> he got his miracle. Because he was honest with Jesus. He believed, but he was struggling. You know, sometimes it's hardest for us to believe when it comes to our own. Comes to ourselves, comes to our own. But I'm here to tell you this morning, Jesus is in this sanctuary again on your behalf. He's got a miracle for you. He has come to your rescue. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire. How many have things before the Lord that you're asking God for? Yes. Greater Whatsoever wisdom. things Greater you wisdom. desire. Greater peace. When you pray, Greater will in his way. believe <clears throat> that you receive them, and you shall have them. Sister, that with the baby in the carriage, God's got a special touch for you this morning. I've been drawn to you in this service. God has a special touch for you. If you would come up here, or I can come back there to you, it doesn't matter to me. My wife and I will anoint you with oil. We're going to lay hands on you. God has a divine touch for you. Right. Don't know what you've been going through, but God does. He sees your whole entire. Now I hope y'all don't mind. I'm not a long-winded preacher. I just have to follow the Spirit. <laughs> most of them, hour, hour and a half and two hour messages are hostage situations anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like you even more. <laughs> I've always followed this pattern. I'd rather quit before the anointing does as to keep going when the anointing has quit. Yeah. God's got a miracle for you. You're under a heavy load. God is going to touch you. I don't know what all you're going through. I'm not a prophet. I'm not a seer. Don't take a genius to see certain things, and I do believe some things are revealed spiritually. Yes. God's going to touch you and roll a burden off of you that you carry. If you will right now trust Him with it and put it in His hands. Do you know what I'm talking about? You do? Okay. Father, right now this yeah. morning, <clears throat> this young lady needs your touch. And as I lay my hands upon her, I know you're laying your hands upon her. We're only doing as you commanded us to do, to anoint with oil and to lay hands on them and pray for them. And I know you're doing the rest. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, you see what this young lady is going through. You see her needs. You see the things that she's facing. I'm asking you, Lord, to meet every need. Lord, don't let there be one worry or one concern upon her. Meet every need. Yes. From this moment on, Fully equip her for give the her a miracle Fully equip her for by the, the power of your shield the Lord. Holy Ghost, young lady. Jesus is touching you right God's now. Bow. Jesus Fire. is working a situation out for you. For sure, Put it in his hands. Don't worry about like it anymore. Jesus has got your she has back. Power and skill. Today, Anyone? 
crush an arm. And the army of demons that's coming against her, cast out by your name, Jesus. You know, all the way out to the God's right now. Yes. Yes. Just open up to the peace of God. The peace is the Lord touches you. All right understand. Be who you are and joy. In the yes. name of Jesus. Joy is your strength. Speak to your mouth. Yeah. Speak to your mouth. Jesus. 